All right, so I figured I'd do a little review of this, this see the Intex K1, this inflatable um, kayak came with the pump. It's got the little deals on the ends and then lovely paddle as well. So this is just the back of my car, back seats folded down. It folds back into like a little case. Um, it just doesn't do that easily enough for me to want to mess with it. And then I like just being able to like take it out of my car and go. Um, so I'm kind of going to do a little video on how I take it out, pump it up, get it in the water and everything um, and kind of tell you what I think about it. All right, here's the little skeg that I haven't put in yet. Um, a lot of people have said that this doesn't fit in well. I have not had that problem. If it's great, it's actually kind of hard for me to get out. Um, it doesn't track well, but we'll get a little more on that. Here is the boat. Um, it does have these lovely things here. These aren't bungee, um, but the edges are. And then I already have the... Um, there's like a little blow up guy. Let's see. This thing that kind of keeps the um, footwell a little pumped up, which is nice. Um, it does have these Velcro areas for a seat. And then it would strap in kind of over here. I don't use the seat. Um, I haven't, I do have it at home. Um, I just read some reviews that said that maybe it was uh, not the best, so I just don't use it. Um, I have no problem with that. Um, so it does have these two valves, your first little blow up valve, second one is in here. It has these, um, this is how you would know if it's blown up correctly. Um, what I've recognized is that 60 pumps for this bottom section and like 45, 50 for the top section is perfect. Um, this one never really looked right, so I just don't fuck with it. Um, if it it felt right at like 45 to 50, so that's just where I leave it. Um, so it does have these valves. You have this first part and then the second part up here comes out and I'll show you that when I undo the whole boat. Um, but this is, well actually, that's wrong. This is the one that will undo the whole boat. Um, so you'll screw this whole thing in here and then um, that keeps the air in. And then this is what you will connect the um, pump to. The pump here, I'm sure this video is gonna make someone sick, all the moving. Um, the pump here, mine came, I don't know if you can see this, a little bent, but uh, it doesn't seem to affect anything. This thing is fabulous. Everything sets up in like five minutes and you're out the door, ready to go. Um, I haven't used these yet. This just fits in there. Um, so let's get a little video of setting that up now. All right, so here is my pump. Um, I forgot, you've got to do this bottom section first. Um, so let's screw this in and unscrew the top cap. Well, better with two hands, I'm sure. Let's see, there we go. So this just fits directly into there, fits really snug, and then you just pump away. 60 of these. Perfect, so this is with the bottom um, pumped up. You can see it's a little firmer. This is perfectly firm. And then this is how that valve works. No air comes out, that is super, super nice. And then we can just move on to this one. And this one, like I said, is 45 to 50. Um, it says here, let's see, rated to 220 pounds. Has the little suitcase thing. So you, with your gear and everything, no more than 
220. But I haven't been too worried about that. Um, in here, you can store things above in this as well as underneath. And then back behind you, anything you don't need to get to, like I keep my um, my boat card, the license for this lake and everything in a dry box kind of down underneath there. So really great storage if you're gonna go out and even um, take this kind of on a camping trip. So 45 to 50 pumps and we'll be back. Perfect, there are, that was actually 42 pumps. Um, but everything is nice and filled out. You can see it's really, um, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I haven't had any worries about it um, other than that first attempt at getting it in the water. I was a little scared. Um, but then also with this pump and these valves, if you notice that it needs pumped up, you can always just unscrew the valve, give it a little more air while you're on the water, no big deal. So. I'm gonna put this gag in and um, put it in the water. All right, so here we are. I hope this is in focus. I can't really tell it's too bright. Um, here we are in the boat. Um, things I will say getting in is a little hard for me. I'm not that tall, like 5'5", five five, and sh like straddling the whole thing is the best way to get in and like not get water in the boat. Um, so you kind of have to like, <laughs> Just make it work it's not cute it's kind of like a train wreck but it works um if you kind of sit in from the side you will get water in here um i think i don't know that's to be expected um let's see if i can't turn this around um <clears throat> everything holds up here really well nothing falls out i don't have any worries about stuff like that um i did put this pool noodle over the um over the paddle because it floats i have no issues um worrying if it's gonna go over because i don't use a leash on it um hold on i am floating too close um what else let's see while we enjoy my view um it does obviously really well in this quiet water but I was out here the other day in some Colorado winds and um, it was it was really the waves were pretty big and um, I was kind of scared at first it did great um, it still tracks like shit um, if you paddle to the left you're gonna go left a little um, that sucks but um, overall this boat is amazing I actually bought two of them on Amazon and um, I haven't used the second one yet. I was hoping that I would have some friends come out with me. They just haven't had a chance yet. Um, but I've had this thing out probably six times now. Love it to pieces. Um, this is the little cockpit area. So my back is all the way to the back and it cradles pretty well. Um, there's still a lot of room up under there that I could put things, you know, that I want easily. Probably my water bottle so it doesn't get all hot in the sun let's see um so yeah that can sit up next to me no big deal um it goes down pretty darn far so i'd say tall people have a great chance with this boat um like i said i think the max was 220 but um everything fits pretty snugly and a little cooler i love this boat guys it's fabulous bye um i didn't see too many videos on it um so, yeah, I just enjoy coming out and looking at the mountains, and maybe I'll get a view of the other side when I turn back around, but um, it's just so incredibly nice to be out here, and for like, I think it was like 60 bucks total for one of them. It's a complete setup, complete kit, um, and I mean, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. So, thanks guys. Bye. All right, y'all, done for the day. And had a quick little 
go around the lake. A um, couple things. I'm not sure if all, all of this um, recorded or if it recorded in slow mo. Let's hope not. Um, but one thing that I did just for like a cheap dry box go to the dollar store, get one of these. Um, haven't had any problems with water getting in at all. Um, and it floats. Um, this here, the sticker on the bottom, maybe you can see in there, is actually the boat permit. I don't put it on the boat because it can fold up and I'm worried that it's gonna come off. So I just leave it in here. A um, couple carabiners, my keys are in there. Um, some paracord line in case I need to tie into anything. Um, yeah, but this all stays in here really well. Haven't had any issues with that. Um, there is a little bit of water in there. And what I do basically is I'll throw it in the back of my car um, once I deflate it and then kind of pull up one end. You can see my shadow, but not my hand. Um, I'll kind of pull up on one end and then drain out of the middle hole. Um, I don't really have problems with water keeping in there. Um, yeah, there's my paddle with the pool noodle. Works pretty well. Um, yeah, this boat is absolutely amazing. Um, check the underside here. Um, it does have one little, um, I guess, loop for towing or tying into something. Um, that's nice. It's been scraped across the ground a couple times because as you're getting in and out, um, you kind of have to learn for your weight and everything you have in it, how far in you can go um, to get in. Um, Skeg is going to be a bitch to pull out. The other video is kind of hard to see. It has these clips that you have to depress and then pull out. That's really the only... Um, that's what takes the longest getting this guy... Um, getting this guy off. But that's about it. I mean, it's a sturdy damn boat. I love this thing. And I'm sure you guys will too. Thanks. Alright, one quick thing. Now that I've got everything off of it, let's go ahead and deflate it. Um, it says there's these little caps and you want to go for the one on the bottom. I'm sure you can't see any of this. Um, the one on the bottom there. Well, about pushing on it too much to get out any of the air um, so I'm just gonna throw it in the back of my car uh, and it'll stay there probably until tomorrow morning when I come back out and it deflates pretty well on its own I do have that um, the little foot thing in there still Give it a slight squish, and that's it. All right, that is it. All done, all put in there. Um, if I had it folded up, I could probably get three of them in just the back hatch area. I do drive a cross trek, um, so if that's any spatial reference for you, um, it's not heavy at all. It's easy for me to get in and out of the water. Um, I just throw it over my shoulder. And, um, yeah, super great. I've had people comment that, um, I don't have, I don't need a trailer or anything to get in and out of the water while I'm watching them struggle with it. So this is really, really nice. Um, since that video, I've actually started using the seat, which I said I don't use. Um, I like it, kind of. It keeps me dry, which is nice. Um, because the drips from the paddle were getting me significantly, well not significantly, but my shorts were wet. Um, and like the bottom of my t-shirt would be wet. <clears throat> no, nothing to like dump out or anything. Um, but I would get like a little wet and like I'd have to go home and change before doing anything after taking the kayak out. Um, let's see. So I have been using the seat. Um, I find that I can still lay back and do my thing. And I still really love it. My center of gravity is a lot higher 
So that's why I say I kind of don't like the seat. Um, I'm willing to kind of learn with it, I guess. Um, I saw a guy out on the lake the other day who had one um, and he used the seat and he said he's a little taller. Um, he said that he noticed at home that, because of course, what do you do when you get something that blows up is you blow it up at home. I did the same thing and I put my dogs in it and maybe I'll put the pictures in. Um, I <laughs> made them sit in the fucking kayak. Um, anyway, he was saying that he was having trouble getting his legs in because um, it's kind of a tight squeeze there. Um, I don't leave my legs in anyway. I just put them over kind of the front and over the front net. Um, so I don't know, it's not really a problem for me. Um, but I do like the seat now. I feel like it does give me a lot more support. So we'll see. But yeah, I love the boat. I think it is fabulous. I've taken it out more times than I could remember. Um, for 60 bucks, the thing is amazing. Just to like be able to throw it in the back of your car, not worry about it. Um, yeah, I think I've gone just about every day for like the past three weeks. So it says a lot for a boat that blows up. Um, I really love it. 